past 50 years, uh, sir, that you've spent here at LNT and uh, uh, 53. 53. <laughs> I, I said over the over the past 50 years, and which which means yes, 52 or 53 years. Uh, what has been, to your mind, the most challenging aspect of running this company? Well, one thing is I was not. Uh, I, I I spent 22 years in manufacturing. Yes. On the shop floor, so I grew up from the uh, catching the dust to where I have. Second, I came from village. Mm. I was on, the village was two and a half thousand people. Yeah. I studied in vernacular language. Yeah. And even when I went to college in Vallabhidyanagar, mm. that is because my father, who was in Bombay as a principal, mm. decided to go back way back in 1952 to serve poor right. people. So I had to also go. Mm. Then he said, you go to Vallabhidyanagar, so I went to Vallabhidyanagar. And there, though 25% seats were from outside Gujarat, mm. still the people were talking more Gujarati and so on. So uh. when I came to Bombay, I had a very tough time yeah. being able to, let's say, meet you, talk to you, and yeah. so on and yeah. so forth. So I start, I bought a dictionary. Mm. You know, that mm. was a very difficult. I said, I in this environment, how will I survive? Mm. Where everyone is from convent, they are from IIT. By the way, LNT took only IIT. Yeah. They didn't call me for interview. Mm. I went to Nestor Boiler, and mm. after 18 months, my experience was so appropriate mm. to LNT wanted what LNT wanted to do. That they so brought I, you on board. So I got the job uh. after 18 uh. months. Otherwise, this would have been my 55th year. Uh. You know, but therefore. Even in my interview, I could not speak well. Mm. And I, when, one, first interview, I went to Mukund. The personal manager told me, mm. don't you think your English could be better? I mm. said, yes, mm. because I had seven mistakes in the form, spelling uh. mistake. Uh. So I took it at heart. And then I bought dictionary, I bought cassettes. That time there were no yeah. DVD and yeah. CD. Yeah. And I started playing that, hearing the pronunciation and so on. Uh. Then you have to correlate that with your thought process. Yeah. So I would stand in front of mirror, mirror and start talking, and then to learn English, which is well written, uh. I would see the dictionary because the spelling has to be correct. Yes. It took me three to four years mm. to come to terms with how I could deal mm. now with generally everyone. Mm. So that was a very big challenge. Mm. But I, I was in manufacturing, in mm. the shop floor, mm. dealing with workers, mm. dealing with union. Mm. So there, it did not matter so much. So I got away with it, you yeah. can say. So that was my first big challenge. Mm. The second big challenge was uh, really growing the growing from a dairy shop, dairy manufacturing, mm. to a nuclear reactor. Mm. When I came, the company had just signed the nuclear reactor, first nuclear mm. reactor in 1964. And Dr. Mr. Baba invited Larson to grow to be the manufacturing mm. partner. Mm. And I was in manufacturing. Mm. The new shop was coming up. That is the stage mm. where so much was happening mm. and nothing much had happened previous uh, 50 years mm. or 40 years mm. because it was a marketing and sales company. Mm. Manufacturing was very little, that was dairy. And that started in 1958, 20 years later, after mm. 1938. Mm. So to build a nuclear reactor, first nuclear reactor, is a huge, huge, yeah. huge challenge. Yeah. And 65, we got the job. I joined in 65. 71, we delivered. Mm. On that success mm. came Vikram Sarabhai telling, would you become our partner in yeah. aerospace? Yeah. So that was in 75. So since then, we got into aerospace. Mm. Then 1988, these are all big challenges, yeah. you know, of which LNT is known today. Yeah. Or rather, the thing LNT is high tech mm. is because of all these. Mm. So 1988, DRDO, mm. Defense Research Organization, we partnered with them and started doing development work. We were not allowed to manufacture anything because it was only meant reserved for public sector and ordnance right, factory. Right. So we did the various missile, which mm. you see, missile launchers. Yeah. And we hand over the drawings mm. at the end and the sample. I mean, the and after that, it's not ours. Yeah. They will give it to Ordnan Factory, who never makes it, but we couldn't. <laughs> so after 10, 12 years, they realized that we have to now get people who have designed to, to at least build. start yeah. build. Yeah. And that's how we got into now almost 90% of the missile launchers. Mm. And uh, 
uh, we make Brahmos missile yeah. that is a supersonic. Yeah. So we have, I would say the seeds were sown in 1988. Mm. Seeds were sown for Navy in mid 90s. Mm. And we got into first nuclear uh, submarine in 2004. And then that got delivered in 2013 right. after nine years. Right. And now we are working on more and more. And mm. so those were all challenges. Mm. And believe me, I would not have come to LNT. Mm. I dreamt of LNT as a student because it had all these challenges yeah. or potential challenges mm. and the company which would serve the nation. Yeah. You know, my grandfather served poor people. Mm. My father served poor people. 116 mm. years we mm. were the, the my, they, were, they were spent as a family. Mm. We spent in villages. Mm. And I wanted to follow that footstep, but being an engineer, I can't become a teacher or yeah. a principal. Yeah. So I said, let me work where good is done for society right. and the uh, mm. people at large. So I said, l and is the only one that fits in. There mm. were only two major companies, Tata's and l &T. Yeah. And Tata's were more in automobiles and steel yeah. and all that, which did not excite me. So I came to Larson to Bro. I could not get in, as uh. I told you. I was not in IIT, but my destiny brought me here 18 months later. Yes. And then the biggest challenge came in 2001. Mm. Of course, there were challenges of takeover targets yeah. for many yeah. years, but I don't want to go into that. But coming to 2001, and that lasted till 2004, yeah. that changed the complete l and mm. I mean, in the sense that we are... We had gone up to 1.1 1 .1 mm. debt to equity yes. and were lowered from 3A to AA+. Plus. Mm. We went back to AAA. Mm. Our debt equity came down from 0.1, I mean from 1.1 1 .1 to 0.1921, to mm. 1, right? Our equity had bloated because of the cement plant yeah. to 250 crore. Yeah. I came down to 25 crore. Yeah. Proved to them last from 79 to 2004, yeah. 2003, balance sheet of 24 years. Yeah. You won't believe I could not even find the old, uh, could not find the old balance sheet. Uh. So I had to find so many basements and uh. finally I put things together. Uh. Why we raise money? For what purpose we raise money? How much we raise? How much we raise equity? And proved it to the board that we can't be more than 25 crore. Mm. And we can't be more than 0.19. The mm. rest of the money has gone into cement. Mm. We had a negative EVA of 350 crore. Mm. After the restructuring and yeah. after selling the cement, we became positive plus 50. Yeah. Then we got the shares in l and Foundation. Foundation, yeah. That is nothing but equivalent to Tata Trust. Right. And then we got the employee shareholders. Mm. And employee got stock options, so they are very happy. Mm. Stock options, I mean, the shareholder, many yeah. times they run into me and they tell me, you know, I have the shares 20 year old. And I have now become 50 times richer. <laughs> so that makes me happy that I think though they were challenging period, yeah. the, uh, it worked out well. I would yeah. say God is great. Let me end then by asking you, your successor says that you're like a father figure to him uh, and you've uh, helped this company dream of doing the biggest things, the tallest buildings, the most ambitious projects and so on and so forth. What is the dream that AM Nayak now has? Well, one thing I want, I have a dream that this company will become one day one of the largest engineering company in the world. It is already one of the, but still go into the upper end. Mm. If you really look at the, the, the cost of uh, building infrastructure in India mm. and cost of building infrastructure in US and Europe, right, it is two and a half, three times, mm. four times more. Mm. So when we say we are 18 billion company, if I transplant this company into Europe or USA, mm it will become 32 to 35 billion dollar mm. company. So we are that way from considering the cost balance, one of the biggest, mm. right? And I think this growth will continue at the rate of 10% or so. Mm. And there is no doubt in my mind that over 20 years, it will, it will go past three and a half, four lakh crores, mm. about 30, 40 billion, which will be equal to 70, 75 billion internationally, mm. right? This business is very competitive. So the profit is always five, six yeah. percent after tax. Mm. So it will have a market cap from two and a half lakhs crore, which we are now assuming in 21, to go past five, six lakh crores. Mm. Being an engineering company, 
I don't think there are many in the world mm. which has so much. Mm. I mean, there are other companies which mm. are in consumer product, mm. consumer durable, sure. which has a high market cap. But this type of business, one-off, tailor-made projects, heavy industry, defense, perhaps this will be one of the few. So I dream of that. But more so, the dream can only fulfill mm. if it has a top-notch leadership. Mm. So one of the projects that I'm taking over now, I uh, mentored 30, 24 people mm. in the last three years. Mm. From where came five board members, mm. executive board, mm. including Subramanian. Yeah. And seven company heads, mm. CEOs mm. of subsidiaries and all. Now I have taken 29. Okay. And I'm going to go as a non-executive. I'll be kind of mentoring them. Okay. I've started mentoring six months ago. Okay. And that will take the company with a good leaders mm. up to 2030-32. Mm. Now I said I'm not satisfied up to 30-32. Mm. Company should be strong till 45 50 mm. Beyond that, I'm not able to see, and a lot of people would have retired, so right. completely new crop would have come. Right. So I have taken an age group 35 to 45 okay. as a team two, okay. team two succession plan. Mm. And from November 8th, mm. I'll start mentoring them. Okay. So team one, team two. One team is up to 32, and another one, one is up to 45. Okay. Till that far, I'm planning to think LNT will be strong. I think beyond that, inshallah, God is great. Well, Mr. Naik, uh, here's wishing you and your long term plan for Team 1, Team 2, and LNT the very best of luck. It's always an enjoyable experience uh, to have a conversation with you. Thanks very much for sharing your thoughts on the future as well as the past. Uh, thanks very much for your time. Thank sir. you. Thank you very with much. With that, it is time for us to wrap up this CNBC TV 18 special from all of us here. Goodbye. Many thanks for watching.